Yeah. I to fight the water, I defeat but come to fight the water. Yes. Even that time around, I think. The cow, the, the, the man we saw on, on it, he belongs to that. We have uh, given out this kind of uh, urge to the police contributing countries to send us as many women as they can. You know, every country has its own conditions around uh, serving police women officers. But we will sent out our appeal and uh, we hope we get more and more women in peacekeeping in South Sudan. Our guys, we're going to contact uh, con a candidate for deployment. It's going. And what can you tell us about human rights? What are the human rights? interesting and very attractive to me to work in multicultural environment. You will be notified by the permanent mission within two to three weeks as to your status. Sometimes even the men who oppress these women, who hurt these, these women and children, tend to stop for a while and think about it. What is it that we are doing? These are women speaking to us. I think we, we need to stop what we are doing. So there's such a big impact. Uh, that our police women have created in the POC areas and I think this is very good for mandate implementation. And what was the cause of the fighting? The cause of the fighting is only that a man from the waterfall in which other children cannot come to play on the waterfront. Okay. And I'm very happy that we now have a gender advisor in place. And my advice to her is to work very closely with both the police and the force to ensure that gender considerations are incorporated in their work. I like it most when we interact with them and we, we, we encourage them, we sensitize them, we create awareness for them to know their rights and they are like, we didn't know this, then they become happy that they also have rights to vote, rights to talk, rights to exercise, everything that they are supposed to. Yeah. Can you help me with something? I have one more.